Hi guys and welcome to my latest video. Um, it's been a while since my last video, that's because at the moment we're about to get, in, get into the process of moving. Uh, so we've been away at the weekends and, and we've just been a little bit busy. So the videos have taken a bit of a cut in terms of the amount of output, but I'm looking to keep those up. So I thought I'd get back into it with this um, What Sells on eBay video showing you, I think it's around 26 of my more interesting sales within the last two weeks. Uh, so I'm going to just get on with that. Now, the first item I'm going to show you guys is pretty interesting. It's a vintage mother care pram. We bought this an absolute age ago um, from a boot fair for about £15. And the reason why we bought this was because my daughter wanted to play with it. And then you can see it's a really nice blue corduroy a vintage pram. It's got like the spoked wheels there. It's got the mother care logo on the side. It's actually in very good condition for its age. You can see it's quite a large item. I wasn't able to take a photo of this on a on a white background. I you know just did not have the space, so it had to do. And you can see there, there's a little bit of cable flex from my iron that sits there. I should have dealt with that, but I took some decent photos from different angles. And even though I only bought it for fifteen pounds, my daughter got good play out of it. And then it just sat in the lean to for ages. Um, I finally uh, managed to get around to listing it and sold it for £80 plus £8 shipping. So very happy with that sale. Moving on. Uh, next item. This is something I picked up quite recently from auction. Um, I paid around £3 something for it. Um, and I actually accepted an offer on this uh, for £19 plus the £3.99 shipping. Um, and it sold very quickly. So this is Thunderbird 1, the sound tech by Carlton. Um, it was in good working order. I took a few photos of the different sides of it. And you can see it came with like a little Thunderbird figure there in, in, in a chair. And um, so that sold pretty quickly. So happy with that sale too. Oops. Next item. Um, it's some handcuffs. These are Hyatt um, England, the peerless handcuff. With, with key um i overpaid on these um i actually paid around 14 15 pounds with fees on at the auction i think it was about the 15 pound mark so I, I you know i didn't have a great photo to work from they looked like they could be worth some money turns out that i overpaid on them because like i said i think with fees it's about 15 pounds i paid and in the end i sold them very quickly but still for not a lot of profit I sold them for 25 plus three pound shipping, so not the best sale there. Moving on, this is something I'm very happy with. This is the Sims 3 Generations Expansion Pack. I think I picked this up for 50p, um, and it, it took a while, but it sold for 16 pounds with free shipping, and obviously free shipping on this um, wouldn't cost me that much because it just goes roll mail, large letter. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that as well. Um, next item, it's, this is something I've been sat on for a while. Um, I mean, firstly, you can tell because I've not got any shipping on this. Um, I have started to add shipping on a lot of my items. And this is the retro BT Tribune phone. Um, a bit manky. Um, the plastic's obviously yellowed a bit. It had some very stubborn uh, stickers on it, which I could have gotten rid of, I'm sure. But I just didn't have the time or inclination to, to spend um, you know, get doing that. However, I thought it was still a cool enough phone. And I got this for like... 50p or a pound tops uh, you see okay, the flex is grubby you know it's but it's sold for 13.64 but free shipping on that next sale now this is something i'm pretty happy with i actually bought a couple of mini discs at auction and um, i sold one of them funny thing is i sold it and i forgot that it had come with the inline remote control and um it's good that I forgot because the mini disc didn't actually command much money. I sold it for around the going rate anyway. And I I found that this remote control, however, fetches decent money. And it was it didn't sell very quickly because it's quite a unique item. Someone's got to be looking for it. Um and so this inline remote I managed to sell on its own uh for twenty pounds, which is pretty much um like this is almost as much as I think as I got for the for the mini disc player. Um, so £20 plus £3 shipping, so a very good sale there. Next item, again, a sale that's taken a while, but I was determined to set it out with this. This is a sealed Buddha Bar 4 um, LP. I actually got this in my local um, charity shop. They sell LPs pretty cheaply. 
Um, this one was sealed, and I, I think I got it for like a pound um, or maybe two pounds tops. Um, not a lot of money anyway. And I'd seen some of these sell um, from Canada uh, for quite a bit of money, and I decided to hold out for a high price. Um, and I put it up for ninety four forty nine. Actually, I ended up accepting an offer of eighty pounds for it, um, and it went abroad by the global shipping program, and it was free delivery. So I had had it listed for a while. However, from two pounds to eighty, I'm not going to complain. Next item. This is another cool sale. Again, very happy with this. Um, this is a sharp uh, ghetto blaster boombox thing. Now, I sold this as faulty. Um, it's made in Japan, you can see there. Um, and the reason why I sold it as for parts not working is although you could play like an iPod or your phone through it using a 3.5mm uh, jack to phone audio cable, the cassette player on the cassette players, both the cassette players on the deck were faulty and the radio was very crackly when you were tuning it in. So it obviously needed a lot of work. However, um, and I think I paid seven pounds for this at a boot fair. In the end, I ended up selling it for forty pounds. Um, and even though it says free shipping, um, this went to like a, a a film studio type place, and they paid eight pounds next day shipping because I have a next day shipping option as well for a higher price. And they were happy to pay that. I think it was eight ninety nine or seven ninety nine, and they paid that as well. So very pleased with that sale. Next item. Now this is something that's a bit out of the ordinary. Um, and it's quite a bulky item, and this is a Libtech Skate Banana um, Experimental Snowboard. Now, I bought this at auction, and I paid about 50-something pounds, 53 pounds, I think it was, um, and that was with fees, etc. And it's a really good condition snowboard. I mean, snowboards are obviously designed to be rugged because of the nature of them, but very good condition because they can obviously get damaged. Um, and this one actually had some really nice... Uh, bindings, you see it has a little bit of wear scuffing which I mentioned um, took a lot of photos because obviously it's a quite a valuable item and the bindings were, were really good as well, they're Solomon District bindings which brand new on their own uh, can fetch over a hundred pounds um, so I got, um, I had it up for 220 plus 20 shipping in the end I accepted an offer of 180 uh, plus 20 shipping and again it sold pretty quickly, Libtech is obviously a very uh, highly desired uh, manufacturer. They make their snowboards in the US. Um, good brand and definitely something to keep an eye out for. Not the kind of item you're likely to find at boot sale, but in case you do, go go for it. Uh, next item. Now, this is another auction purchase. I actually picked up the Spice Girls perfume or deodorant, sorry, and shower gel. And I paid like three pounds something for, for the pair. The deodorant was two thirds full and... Um, even though it was used, I managed to actually get nineteen ninety nine plus two ninety nine shipping. Uh, no, no, I didn't. That's a lie. I accepted an offer. I think of about. I think it was sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, I think I accepted an offer of sixteen ninety nine plus two ninety nine shipping. Something like that. So very close to my asking. So very pleased with that. Next item. This is a lovely sale. I bought this, this sealed Monopoly. I don't normally bother with board games because I don't like checking through them. I don't like checking to see if they're complete or not. So I don't often bother with them. I'll only bother with them if they're extremely valuable. So for example, like the movies or other, like cold it's if I ever came across that, which I've never done. But any board game or hero quest, obviously if something was worth like £50 plus, I would consider it otherwise I don't bother however I picked up this Monopoly because it was brand new and sealed at a boot fair and um, I paid four pounds for this Monopoly um, and I got a really good price I actually got it um, sold it for 50 pounds um, and it was actually 7.99 shipping or 8.99 shipping because um, this is my economy delivery and then I've got a next day option and so gentlemen that purchased it bought next day shipping so I was very happy with that sale as well Moving on swiftly, I got a massive job lot of Nintendo DS games, um, and um, like for not a lot of money, I, I, I picked them up really dirt cheap. And in there, they had these boxes. Obviously, I was gutted there was no games inside these particular three because they were all Mario ones. Um, but that didn't deter me. I stuck them all on for sale. Not a lot of money, but for empty boxes, I just stuck them up, and I got nine pounds forty-four with free shipping. So I was pretty pleased with that sale. Next item, this is a Sony WMX 
FX, a WM FX 475 radio cassette Walkman. I was a bit surprised by this. Normally I can get decent money for cassette Walkmans. However, this one sat around for absolutely ages. Um, and I had it up, as you can see, for £19 with free shipping. In the end, I accepted an offer of £15 uh, with free shipping because it just wasn't selling. Um, I, I obviously didn't um, do a good job with the photos. You can see, actually, they look horrible. It looks really dirty, doesn't it? So really horrible photos there. Maybe that played a part. Um, I should have checked that um, rather than saying, why isn't it selling? But anyway, I sold it for 14 99 I think, with free shipping. Next item. Okay, this thing has been sat around my house for well over a year now. Um, I bought three of these Warner Brothers uh, figures. They're quite large. Um, they were designed for the Warner Brothers store. And... I bought the three of these for two pounds fifty, so I've made good money on them. I sold the other two previously, but this Taz Devil was st sticking around forever. I'm guessing the reason is because his tail had broken, and I had to do like a repair on his tail, uh, glued it back on. I did a pretty good job. You can't tell. I mean, you can see there, there was damage to to the statue anyway, to the base, etc. It does have some wear, um, but it finally sold for twenty five pounds, and it went via the GSP program. So I'm pretty happy with that because it's finally it's gone and I've made some money out of it. Next item we're getting there guys um, is a Harley Davidson motorcycle cap. Um, it's it, it says Harley Davidson um, Cycles Orlando on the back of it so it's probably from that um, their um, Orlando store. You can see it's embroidered there so it, really nice 100% cotton uh, baseball cap. I paid not a lot of money for it, maybe 50p or a pound. And in the end, I accepted an offer of 15 pounds plus the 2.99 shipping. So pleased with that. Um, quite rare for me. I don't often pick up DVD box sets, um, not often. And I paid, I think, a pound for this one. And this is the Killing Trilogy. Um, I was initially going to send it into Amazon and put it in my Amazon box. However, it's restricted on Amazon. So it went on eBay and sold for $12.99 plus $2.99 shipping. So I was happy with that. Next item. This is a nice sale for me. Bought this at a boot fair. This is an Avery Burkle FX220 shop scale. So it's the kind of scale you'd use either in a sweet shop or a vegetable, fruit and veg shop. Um, and um, you can see it's a, a commercial scale there. Good condition. Really happy that I picked this up. I, I paid £15 at a boot fair for it. The guy wasn't going to budge. So I was pretty happy in the end to just get it for £15. Um, and I did get a couple of lowball offers. I had someone saying, would you accept £25 for it? And I was like, no. Um, but in the end, it sold for the asking price of £99.99 plus next day shipping, which is £8.99. So happy with that. Next item. This is quite a peculiar sale. Um, I picked up a bunch of these KitchenAid uh, uh, kitchen oven mitts with pan holders from auction. Um, I bought, I, I don't know how many I've got in total. I've got quite a few. I didn't pay much for them, um, like as, as a job lot. I think I paid like £18 or something with fees for the, for the whole bunch of them. And I've only sold the one so far, which is this. Um, I've got some which are like this, which are new, but without um, tags or packaging. And I've got some which still are in their packaging, which will do well for me as well. But anyway, I sold this for fourteen ninety nine, and I, as you can see, I've got shipping on there for two ninety nine. However, the guy that bought these must have really wanted them desperately because they paid eight ninety nine next day shipping via UPS. So um, off they went fourteen ninety nine plus eight ninety nine shipping via UPS. Um, he got them quickly, left me positive feedback. He was very happy, as described. They're brand new oven mitts, so and um, nice little set there, kitchen a three piece set. Okay, moving on. Now, the next four sales were to one person. And, and this sale is going to demonstrate the importance of the global shipping program. Now, these are part of a bundle. These are Amiga games. I bought um, a massive job lot of Commodore Amiga games and a Commodore Amiga 500 for 30 quid at an, a boot fair a few weeks back. And slowly but surely, I've, been, I've listed everything. And slowly but surely, everything's been selling bit by bit. And I woke up to a lovely sale um, where a gentleman from, I think it was Norway or Denmark, I can't remember exactly. I, I, I hope I sent it to the right country. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but anyway, this guy bought um, this game, Abandoned Places, for £25. He bought 
the next game, which is Abandoned Places 2 for £40. And he then bought a game called Ishar 2 for £25. And he finally bought um, Ishar 3 for £35. So it was like £130 worth of Amiga games he bought off me. Um, and then there was £15 shipping tracked to his country. And I was very happy with that. Now, the reason why I say this is important about Global Shipping Program is because Global Shipping Program currently does not cover video games. So if you're selling rare video games or valuable video games, you're limiting yourself to just the UK market. Um, if you have just global shipping enabled because the listing will automatically, when you list it, it will tell you this is not eligible for the global shipping program. So when you list your item, it will just have the UK. So unless you've got worldwide shipping as well as an option, you're not going to get these sales. Um, so I was very happy. And with games like this, like Amiga games, it's going to be collectors buying them. You're not likely to get scammed or anything. And as long as you send your item insured, um, covered for the right amount and you send it tracked and shipped you're not going to track shipping you're not going to get any issues really in the in the overall scheme of things so very happy with that so very pleased next item now this is an interesting one this is a baseball cap a mesh uh, vintage cap by thorn emi electronics now it's a unique cap because it's got a multi-function bomb fuse model on there really unique the cap itself was very used. It has like a mesh back. It's 100% polyester. And you can see it's been worn. It's got some stains and marks to it. Um, I had it up for £50 because I thought it's unique. I can't see anything else like it. And it's interesting. It's not enough for something to be unique. You could have something that's unique that no one wants and is rubbish. So you'll just be um, pissing in the wind, for want of a better term. It's, it's pointless to just put something up at a mega high price that nobody is going to want and yes it's debatable as to whether there is such a thing that nobody wants um but i i don't know i think there may well be i thought this was a unique item and i thought there's got to be someone out there that would find it interesting because it's unique and interesting and i had it up for 50 pounds for quite a while um and i really it owes me nothing i bought a bunch of these baseball caps together um and i've done really well out of them and a gentleman offered me £25 plus the £2.99 shipping. So it's half that. I didn't even bother to go back and barter because I thought, do I risk losing £25 for what is quite, a, to me, it, I think that's a fair price, £25, to be honest with you. Um, and um, I'm very happy to sell it. M moving on, look down to the last two items. Now, this is actually something I used a long while ago. It's a Wager Max commercial coffee grinder. I bought this a while ago and I used it myself. However, um, due to moving, due to space issues where I'm currently living, um, I ended up selling it. So it's just a commercial coffee grinder um, and I accepted an offer of £70 plus shipping on that. Um, final item, this is from an auction. I picked it up from an auction. I think I paid about £15 or maybe about close to 20 I can't be sure. Um, but it sold very quickly. This is a um, Power Monkey Extreme uh, portable power supply thing. Oops, fun. And um, I, so I took an offer of it on. Um, it was up for forty two ninety nine. I got an offer of thirty five plus shipping, so thirty eight. I was happy to sell it for that. Um, it was new, other packaging was a bit torn, not a big deal, and I made a decent quick flip profit on that. So those were my sales. Um, uh, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, seeing those and um, hearing the explanations as to what I paid and what I made etc um, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up leave comments in the comment section if you have any questions about any of the items you've seen or you generally have any questions for me I'm more than willing and I'm happy to answer those and I'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching